it has been of serious concern to a lighting mind and also to the legal mind of the behavior and attitude of some citizens of this country and in particular the politician. One thing I have discovered about them is that yes they are very conscious of the position of the law. In other words they know the law but then they look for a way to deviate from the law using all kind of manipulations. And thank God for the judiciary and the wisdom of some of our legal mind that are, you know, that are on the bench that have come up boldly to ensure that the law is, is complied with. The law being a very sacrosanct things in our, in our endeavor is fully complied with. It takes boldness to really be on the bench and tell the politician that this is the position of the law and this is how things should be done. Coming to our own uh, perspective of what happened yesterday in the court, whereby Justice Equo, which I seriously commend him for his boldness, his astuteness to have come up in the wisdom of the judiciary and the, uh, the, and the law to now say, Look, you cannot do this. Having been voted by under a political party into a position, and after some time, so now some assault and say, No, you are no longer in that party and you are now defecting to another political party. In the case of uh, Governor Omahi, he won the election under the platform of uh, PDP. And after sometimes, for no apparent reason, he said he's no longer interested or comfortable in that party and not defected to APC. Yes, there are, there are certain laws, uh, there are certain circumstances under which you can defect. But in his own case, those circumstances those factors are there on the ground that made him to defect to another political party because today we know the position of the law as to who contests an election in this country the law says there is a political party and not a candidate and that position has already been sealed at the supreme court Looking at uh, the case that took place in, uh, in Kogi State some years uh, back, you know, that is the case that uh, Faleke was involved exactly. in the Kogi State. And the Supreme Court categorically said that it's a political party that contests an election. The vote, you, the vote being casted is for political party, not an individual. So if you are a member of PDP and then election is being conducted and then you win an election under that political party, do you, is it morally justified for you if there are no apparent reason as allowed by the constitution? In the fact, in the case of governor, there's no, even a, there's no provision under our constitution whereby he can defect. But we are looking at it from the fact that an individual does not contest election. Rather, it is a political party. And if a political party contests an election and then he wins, and the political party wins that election, is it morally justifiable for you to carry the mandate of that political, political party to another party, which you were never a member of it at the time you contested that election? So as we are discussing this uh, since yesterday, in fact, it has been an uh, institution of worryness to so many of us, because not only the governor of uh, Bonny State, that is a governor of mine, the one that, well, what of the one of uh, Zamfara State? Mm -hmm. The same problem. At the time he won his election, in fact, the, 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 the Supreme Court said there was no APC. So how do you now go back uh, to APC after the court has uh, declared you 
as the winner of the election under the platform of PDP. So it is, it is, uh, it is, it is totally wrong against the law, against morality, against anything you can think about it. Except that our Nigerian politicians, I, they have a lot to so see to learn. You see, the court that gave that verdict yesterday, that pronouncement, Justice Equo, which I still commend him for his boldness, is a trial court. That is first instance court. You still have the right to go on appeal if you are not satisfied. After the court of appeal, if you are still not satisfied, you go to the Supreme Court. So, for to all intent and purposes, the the statement he made yesterday castigating the the judge and the judiciary, although he has withdrawn that uh, statement, but then it's a word that is already altered out. Yes, it will sanitize the political system. You see, one thing about that I know about the society, the fact that a wrong is being committed does not make it to be right. And the fact that there is a right and somewhere along the lines of people abusing that privilege does not mean that one should now take it that that is the normal thing. Because before now, there are cases, like I said, in Zamfara State, uh, it happened in the National Assembly some years back, it happened. But we have to look at it from the merit and then the angle of what the law is saying. Because, like, uh, there's no facts of the case that are similar. And you cannot justify this particular one because others have not taken step legally to cure it. Because that is the, the impressions of people having, which is, which is also wrong. That, oh, why should their own be like this? Well, it has happened in other... It all depends on uh, the way those who are aggrieved decide to take the issue. It happened in Zafra State. But then, I... I, nobody actually took took it up the way it has been taken in the case of uh, Governor Mai.